Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I'm back with another video. Again, so soon, I know it's a shocker. Um, anyway, um, the card that we're going to make today is a card for my mother-in-law again. Andy was down in Pennsylvania this weekend visiting his family because that's where they live. And he found out that his mother needed knee surgery to get her knee replaced. She's had some problems with it and... Um, she had something done and then it got even worse and now her bones are all infected so now they're going to have to go in and cap her knee her knee and the bones in her knee and um, replace them. So I'm going, I just wanted to send her a card to tell her that we're thinking about her and that I hope she feels better. I actually already made one and I'm going to make one with you on camera but it's going to have a different saying because the stamp set is just really versatile that I'm going to use. So we're going to start off with an eight and a half by five and half um, piece of Summer Sunrise. It's from um, Paper Tray Ink. Not stamping up this time. Shocker. Um, but I got a lot of Paper Tray Ink products um, from their last release. They have a new release every 15th of the month. And so I want to use some of the stuff that I got from the last release since I hadn't used it yet. So I want to show it to you because it's really cute. So this is Summer Sunrise. I'm going to fold it in half so that it's a standard A2 size. Just ignore my scratch paper right here. It's got some other paper trading stamps on it. Um, and then this is from the Die Cuts with a View Creamy cardstock. It's smooth and it's it's really it's just really smooth feeling. I love the texture of this card. And this is the red one from it. So that's gonna be our five and a quarter by four layer. And then this right here, this pattern layer line paper is from the die cuts with a view the glitter stack and this is just an awesome set this one I think is from Michaels they have two of them and one of them is at Joanne's and one of them is at Michaels I have both and this is the Michaels pack so let me just show you some of those really cool designs in there you could do a lot of things with these and there's so many different colors I absolutely love them there's the one we're using um, so anyway that's the stack that we're going to be using today I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a little piece out of the corner just to give it a different look. I've never done this before, but I've seen it um, done by Mary from Cards TV and she's done it a lot, so I wanted to go ahead and try it too. And this is four, I'm sorry, it is three and three quarters by five. So that's that layer right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut out a mat for my stamped image with my Cricut. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the Cricut up and get that all settled and then I'm going to um, show you the cuts that we're going to do. Okay so today we're going to be working with the Elegant Edges cartridge and we're going to cut um, the branch from page 38. We're going to cut just the branch shift and the um, shadow for that. I didn't want the cutouts because I didn't really need them. I had the stamps on, I had the stamps were going to go on there so I thought that would be okay. So I'm going to cut the shadow for the branch in Autumn Rose by Paper Tray Ink. So I'm going to load my paper. Hopefully it sticks to my mat. Okay, and the branch is the, well, we're going to hit shadow, and the branch is in the second row, third from the left, third from the right. So that's the, we're going to cut that mm -hmm. two and three quarters. Okay, and then I'm going to hit my line return button to go all the way back to the top. I'm going to move it over. Now I cut out a piece from the pattern one already, and it was too big. And instead of wasting that, I'm just going to cut out my um, layer right here from the piece that I already cut out. Now I'm going to take the shadow button off, and we're going to go um, two down, three over. And we're going to do shift branch because I don't want the cutouts I just want that layer okay. and that looks good so I'm going to unload that and take you back to the card so this is the next thing we're going to work with um, isn't she pretty I just got it a couple weeks ago when it was my turn to host um, Stampin' Up! Scrapbook Club with my demonstrator Michelle 
and I got it for half off. So I figured why not? It's it's beautiful. So I'm really excited to use it. But I want to go back and tell you something that I did change. Um, on the original card that I made, I, I didn't I forgot that I actually didn't cut the shadow. I cut this at two and a half, and I cut this at two and three quarters right here. Um, so I didn't really like the look of the two and a half or two and three quarters plus the shadow. It doesn't really show enough. So this is still the shadow, but I would cut it out not shadow next time and just do this two and a half and this two and three quarters. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is we're going to die cut our image that we're going to be stamping. Um, we're going to be using this die from Paper Tray Ink. So I'm going to place it down. And I'm going to put it on my multi-purpose platform. I'm going to sandwich. So this should go on the bottom. <laughs> Can't forget that. And then we're going to put the other plate on top. And then we're just going to run it through the big shot. Okay. And I'm going to put this aside. Pull out all of our pieces. We're not going to use that one, so I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to put my, the rest of these aside because we're done with the big shot. Okay, so here's our die cut images. And they are obviously lamps. And I'm going to show you the stamp set that we're going to be using today. I think it's absolutely adorable and it's got so many different um, functions. So this is called Lighten Up and it's by Paper Tray Ink. And it's got different lamp shades and some different lamp stands that your lamp shades can go on. And it's got some really cute sayings to go along with it. says, a little note to brighten your day. Shine, it's your day. Thanks for brightening my day. And you lighten up my life. So I thought those were really cute. It also comes with another set that you buy separately that says, wish I could lighten your load. It's your day to shine. Let your light shine. You lighten my, you, you brighten my day. Um, choose to shine and there is light at the end of the tunnel. So we're going to take our lamps and I'm going to take this lamp right here and this lamp right here. I'm going to pull them out of the sheet. My block. And we are going to be stamping them with the Autumn Rose by Paper Tray Ink. And since they're clear, they're pretty easy to line up with your die cuts. Ink it up, and I'm going to stamp the image. So there's the one. Let's take that one off and put it up here for now. And then we're going to take the other lamp. And we're also going to use the autumn rose for this one. This those turned out really nice. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick our lamp shades. And I picked, um, I picked this leaf one to go with this lamp base right here. And we're going to do um, more mustard by Stampin' Up! because it looks very similar to the Summer Sunrise, and um, Paper Tray Ink is redoing all their inks, so they don't have every color, and I think they just released the Summer Sunrise, or no, I think they released Harvest Gold, so I don't think they have that one, so we're going to use um, more mustard by Stampin' Up. And I lost my, my die cut, and we're going to line it up and stamp on this. Like I said, since they're clear stamps, they're really easy to line up. There's one. We're going to peel it off and put it aside for now. And then I also used this one right here for the other lamp. Okay. So, beautiful. Now we're going to put all our stamps aside. And I will wash those later. And we're going to start assembling the card. This layer is going to go on top of the red layer, so I'm going to go ahead and put those together. And then 
then the next part that I'm going to do is put my lamps onto this mat. So we're going to put these two together. And there's a little more autumn rose showing than I had on my previous card that I made, but that's okay. So it's okay. And then we're going to take some pop dots. We're going to pop up our lamps. Okay, so I went ahead and I put the lamps together and I put um, these two together and these two together and I'm actually going to move this one over a little bit more. Oh, nope, that one's stuck down. Never mind. Okay, now I'm going to take and put those aside. We're going to cut out the part where this, we're going to do the sentiment. Now, the last one I did, I used Wish I Could Lighten Your Load, but today I'm going to do um, You Brighten My Day, because I think... I think someone would enjoy receiving it and just letting people know that you're thinking about them. So we're going to pull that one off. Let's see which one. Is. You brighten my day. So I'm going to pull that one off right here. Now I'm going to um, cut out a 1 and 3 8 inch circle using my vintage cream from Paper Tray Ink. So that I know where to stamp my sentiment because it's bigger than the circle I'm only going to ink up certain parts of it and I'm going to do it in a couple different stamps so I'm going to do U Brighten I'm going to make sure I only get the U Brighten part careful just to get that part I'm going to stamp it off the rest and then we're going to do the my day part. We're going to take the autumn rose again and just do my day. Because it wouldn't have fit all the way across on this. So you brighten my day. Okay. And you could try to get it as even as possible. If it's not even, that's okay. And then I'm going to take my one and three four scallop punch. And I'm going to punch out a scallop circle from the autumn rose. Oop, and it went flying. So let me grab that really quickly. Okay. And I'm going to use a pop dot to pop this on here. Okay, now that we've got the rest of the layers and the pieces put together, I'm going to put the ribbon on. And this is the Autumn Rose Swiss Dots by Paper Tray Ink to match their cardstock and their ink. I'm just going to bring it over here. And I'm going to tie it into a bow. Okay. Now that we've got the bow tied, and I'll go back and fix it up a little bit later. I don't want to take any more time on camera. I'm going to cut the ribbon on an angle. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and layer the rest of it. So this is going to go onto the card base. Okay, and then we're going to take, and I tried using my tape runner on this layer to put it on, but the uh, pen and paper um, made it so that it didn't stick, so we're just going to go ahead and pop it up with pop dots. And then we're also going to do the same thing for the You Brighten My Day. Put it on the bow right here. And the very last thing we're going to do, we're going to go in and find a vintage cream button. And I have a lot of buttons to choose from. I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here. Mm, that one doesn't show up very well, so I'm going to pick another one. 
I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to put it right there using a glue dot. That is our finished card for whoever is having a rough day, maybe, or or this one's for the rough day. Though this one says, "Wish I could lighten your load." So here's the one where if you just want to send someone to make them smile, um, and I would play around with the bow to make it look a little better.